I'm Dr. Henry Wright. I'd like to talk to you about something that amazingly, when I did the research on this, affects 15 to 20 percent of every human in the world. That's a high percentage, and that disorder is tinnitus, ringing in the ears. That's a high percentage. 15 to 20 percent of people are hearing noises. And some of those noises are only audible to them, and sometimes they're audible to those like doctors that are listening really loud. Now, there's many reasons for tinnitus. And to throw it into one big catch-all, this is a root of tinnitus, is going to do you a disservice because it'll mislead you. The number one cause for tinnitus, believe it or not, is injury to the hearing capability of your ears, where the little hairs are, you know, they go a little, so on, that help you process sound. The number one cause for tinnitus from injury is the workplace. There would be areas where people work. That's why they want you to wear these sound uh, deafening headsets if you're in an industrial situation to protect your ears to prevent tinnitus. Because injury in the workplace from loud machinery, those that went to war and the exploding of bombs around them and all that noise, they came back with tinnitus because it produced an injury to the hearing capabilities of the ear. Now, in the, in the case of tinnitus, there's, there's different kinds of sounds. There's, there's little sound, there's big sounds, there's vibrating sounds, there's a, all, there's a number of ways that these sounds come and they don't go away. And so, injury. Another big area that causes tinnitus, believe it or not, and depending what age you grew up in as a youth, is listening to loud rock music. It's injury to the ears. Now, is this all healable? I, I think it is. I tell you, to say that <laughs> everything is not healable by God is saying God is not omnipotent. He's not all-powerful. At the same time, God is somewhat a victim of us too. <laughs> I say that carefully because He's at the mercy of our decisions. He's at the mercy of how we think, speak, and act. Is He not? God doesn't come down and tell you how to think, speak, or act. He gives His Word to influence our thinking. Yes, no question. Um, our speaking comes out of the abundance of our heart. A man speaks, so something in there is going to come out good or bad. And, and God doesn't tell you how to act. He just he has good suggestions how you should act. So the Word is filled. In fact, one of the best manuals on if I was to be a life coach, one of the best manuals that I would use would be the Bible. Because built in there is every, every bit of advice to how to live life and to achieve blessings and health and sanity is all found in Scripture. It's amazing that we don't use Scripture. And even the church doesn't understand Scripture like it should at this level. And so tinnitus, of course, uh, number one reason is injury. Uh, could there be other issues? Possibly. Uh, I found some indication of occultism, uh, which would be fear-based. Uh, your body is highly susceptible to everything that you are in your personality and your spirituality. Uh, your body is just waiting for you to think right. <laughs> your body is just waiting for you to act right. Your body is just waiting for you to speak right because it's a responder to the real you. The real you is not your body. The real you is the one that lives inside this house. You're a spirit. Yeah. You have a computer. Soul. <laughs> Retains all information. And like your spirit man does too, by the way. And you live in a mobile home. This is your house. <clears throat> now there's things that live in your house. You live in your house. The Holy Spirit would love to live in your house with you. Help you. And that other kingdom uses your house. You know, <laughs> you call the, term, the, the exterminator to come spray for your house for 
roaches and bugs and spiders and all kinds of critters. Well, <laughs> maybe we need an exterminator to come sometimes and get them critters out that are in our house, that aren't of God, that speak to us. They make noises and they give us information and they talk to us and that's temptation. So there's lots of things go into the central nervous system. Hearing, of course, there is a there is a, a lot of scriptures that we could go to maybe and stretch it a little bit. That who is who is deaf? God said, but my people. <laughs> who is blind? My people. <laughs> who are hard of hearing? My people. So I found sometimes that people that have a hardness towards God and His Word and occultic thinking and false religions will sometimes suffer, suffer with various types of hearing issues. Just an observation. It doesn't hold true every time. Um, so from the standpoint of tinnitus, it's going to take ministry and we're going to speak healing, perhaps even a creative miracle, that that part of the body that's been damaged will be uh, the Father, by His Spirit, in Jesus' name, will restore all that apparatus in there that, that captures sound in its pathways and processes it, and all the other interference will be gone. I hope this helps you think through it. If you have enjoyed this presentation, give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, subscribe, or leave us a comment.